How is it going, everybody? I am Donut. This is, as always, a Black Lives Matter, all cops are bastards, and trans rights supporting channel. If you're not supporting that shit, get the fuck off this channel. We are back with some more Kagi. Sorry, it has been quite a bit. Uh, it, it seems like two months or something, but between that reaction and the previous one, it was quite a lot as well. Um, but yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. We are, we are getting very, very close to the end. I, there's probably, like, what, two reactions left of this one, and then our final... One, maybe, I don't know, I don't know how it gets split up, you know, who knows, we'll see. But, you know, we got very few left, so I'm sorry, you know, that we're close to the end, and it's taken me a bit, but, um, there was a lot of other stuff going on, and da 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 da, -da. Uh, you know, I could give a thousand excuses, it doesn't fucking matter. Um, so, Washizu is dead, and has gone to hell. <laughs> That's where we last left off. Washizu died, went to hell, is now in a bar full of young teenage Onis. Uh, I don't know exactly where this chapter started, it kind of just went right into this. But uh, <laughs> I'm so excited to get into this arc again, because it's like, how, how long is this going to be? You know, uh, I, I'm going to really kick myself in the ass if this is like three fucking chapters, and I'm like, well, I guess this is just an awkward place to start, and then it's going to be the next round. But uh, either way... <laughs> I love this idea. I don't know how long we're going to be doing this, but... Like, this feels like the kind of thing where we're going to get, like, a couple chapters of this, and Washizu's is going to be, like... You know, he's going to be equating these young demons, or... Maybe not he's going to be equating them to Kagi, but by the end, he will be. Like, I think that's where we're going to be building, because, like, we're... we're Even though he has all this resentment inside him, we're going to be building up more and more and more to where when he wakes back up, it's going to be, like... I know now you are an Oni. And they are watching human sports. <laughs> they are watching human sports. Not Oni sports. Oh, is that what that is? Uh, oh, Hell Dartsu. <laughs> I think that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, but, okay. So it's a dartboard with humans on it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Right in the nards, too. Oh, and of course, <laughs> this guy is like the, <laughs> the bullseye. <laughs> a lot of, like, great design. He's having to, you know... Do all of his faces he can possibly do in this one. <laughs> and okay, yeah, hell darts. Oh, right in the face, right in the face. Like, right in between the eyes and the bone. In the bone. Oh, God. <laughs> this is funny and horrific. <laughs> it's a good thing there's nobody right there. Oh, okay, that was, <laughs> that was their score. I thought it was saying, like, 365, like, uh, days or whatever. Did it not say 365? Wait, where the hell was it? Okay, no, it did say 365, so why, why is it lower now? I guess the other guy got a uh, lower score. Yeah, 365, and he got, yeah, yeah, okay, so he got a lower score. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Oh, is this like uh, Pachinko now? Jeez, it's gonna go in the holes. Okay, that's not Pachinko, it's fucking pinball. But yeah, that explains it, it's not going in the holes, it's, they're just the uh, things you bounce off of. This is, this is so comedic, and yet, at the same, like, they're not treating it comedically. Also, what the fuck is Horse Oni? Okay, what the fuck? And they got the flippers here. <laughs> like, I, it's, it, I, I, whenever I'm reading, you know, horror things, or, you know, just shit like this, I always am instantly, like, putting myself in that situation and how much that would be terrifying, how much would it hurt. It's so hard to do in this because you are in a giant pinball machine. <laughs> Being played by a fucking horse. <sighs> but the, the art is well done for the pain here. Pinball of the damned. How many are we gonna see? Okay, this feels like <laughs> it's crazy. This is Fukumoto. Like, it, because it's Fukumoto's art style, and just because of it, like, if this was the series, it would be different. But the fact that we're in a like hallucination where she's just having and everything like that, the, the like separation from reality, I think, is what is like. <laughs> Is what makes this funny rather than like if this was a whole other manga, I would be horrified. <laughs> this is a horrifying idea. I mean, like, this is such a casual idea of hell, but still awful. And so, oh my god, a cocktail where you put them inside and shake them up and then pour out the blood. <laughs> a shaker lined with spikes on the inside. It's so just like literal, not just like was it was damn soul the cocktail's not enough. <laughs> la 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 la. Press the juiced human. Yeah, fully juiced. 
fully, fully juiced. What are with these onis? He's got antlers. Grilled sandwich, all right. <laughs> what is a grilled sandwich? Just any, I don't care what, just give me a grilled sandwich, anything. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like the butter would actually insulate you, and then it wouldn't affect the heat, and you'd probably suffocate first, but... <laughs> the damned soul sandwich! <sighs> Alright, we see you. How are you gonna get yourself out of this? How are you gonna get yourself out? Cafe bar in hell. Yep, you're dead. You're in hell, bitch! <laughs> No use, I can't remember. Okay, so he doesn't remember the whole match. And then he's going to remember it again. The resentment's all going to flow back. That's what's going to wake him up. The, like, he's so dead right now that he can't even... He doesn't have any memories. <laughs> okay, uh, what are they playing now? They're playing foosball. Mm, oh, here's a fresh part. It's a geezer, but it looks fresh enough, at least. Yeah, it's true. Most of who they're killing aren't, like, old people, which is what I would assume would be Jesus' nightmare. All the young people are killing all the old people. Oh, I hope you break your legs. <laughs> but it's probably going to not, you know, he's not going to be the one that hits the ball. It's going to be other people. But it's, uh, the ball's probably going to hit this before the, I mean, it's, it's still going to hurt. It's still going to hurt. Foosball of the damned, baby. <laughs> What the fuck am I reading? <laughs> what a, this is a cocky. And the ball spikes too. I mean, of course it is. Of course it is. Yeah, I take it back. I take it back. Oh, yeah, and you're going to be flipped it around in the face and everything, too. Oh, my God. Okay, I was talking about how funny this is. And it is very funny, but it's... <laughs> it's so weird to talk about this. There's two emotions genres just clashing so much right now. <sighs> Well, she's just gonna get sick just from the spinning, I bet. He's gonna be like, oh, this is too much. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the first hit is fucking neck broke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're an old geezer. Okay, yeah, I mean, this is his, you know, uh, hallucination, so he just breaks out of it. So. Run away! Okay, it was rubber? Okay. Uh, so... That makes sense. Also, like, you know, the others should be able to get out of it, too. But again, this is his hallucination, so <laughs> can't really say anything about that. Yeah, who the hell would wait? <laughs> he is so fast. Damn. I'm giving what she's some props here in his own dream. Hmm. Yeah, what's the strength, the speed, this power? like how I was in my younger days. What? What do you mean how you were in your younger days? Okay, wait, what's going on here? He had a ball around his neck, and then he put his arms like this, and it just spun in circles like a game or something? And But then when you stop spinning, it would come and hit you, right? I'm not sure what the fuck this is. And you wrestled a giant shortest. <laughs> Excuse me. What is happening in the Washizu spinoff? <laughs> what the what happened in your life, Washizu? This is you in your younger days. And I know that the Washizu spinoff might have been over by this point. It's so weird to... The timeline of Akagi and Washizu is so fucking weird. Um, but I believe the, the Washizu prequel started running while Akagi was running and then also finished before Washizu Mahjong finished. So, we're getting close to the end. This could be... I, I truly don't know if this is coming up the first time here, or if this is a reference to the sequel, or the prequel manga. But, okay, so he's got, he's got, you know, he's, he's lucid dreaming, basically. He's got the superpowers and stuff like that, like when he fought a fucking tortoise. It's also a wild-ass drawing of a tortoise's face. <laughs> what is this? I'm sure it's some, like, thing that I just don't know about, but... <sighs> Okay, so this is what hell is like. Hell brings you back to your physical peak. Or maybe you're such a demon, they don't consider you a dead person. They just promoted you to a tiny demon. I'll go in the offense. Okay, he's going to just start punching them and stuff. Oh, grab the skewers. And just like Shizu Takagi giving me that pretty rebellious glare. But yeah, grab those little skewers. But, you know, it's not going to do much. You're going to, like, you know, 
It's gonna be like an ant stinging you. Get that critical strike, but it's not gonna be much. <laughs> and now, oh, <laughs> the damn soul basket! Are they making fries? Oh, but like now, he's gonna have a whole group cheering him on. And I guess you should be happy since it died a lot faster than we will. I don't know. It seems like all of you are dying in like one hit from everything, or just you know, getting made into a grilled sandwich. I bet. Yep. Okay. Yeah. He stabbed into him. And okay, it went straight through. Nice. Nice. Don't underestimate a human. <laughs> it feels wrong coming from him. It just feels wrong. Ooh. Love this. Whose is this? T A. Cool. Uh, sword in the shoulder? Cool. Very awesome. Uh, love this. Yeah, uh, Akagi as an Oni. Perfect for the hell arc. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I love this so she's as well. The colors. God damn, I gotta follow this person. This is, this is incredible art. This is incredible art. Oh, the glove. The glove. God, I love the colors. So good. Let's look at the whole thing like that. Oh. God. Beautiful color work. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Amazing. Amazing! I don't even want to move on. This is so good. <laughs> oh, I love just the, the way he does the shading and stuff, and oh my god, the way it draws Akagi's hair is so different from like Akagi's actual hair. But I love that. Oh, I can't move on. This is so good. The block. Look at the hand. Oh, the just like the shapes. Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. Okay, okay. We gotta move on. But beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so now <laughs> here's him with the skewer. It looks like he's fucking pole vaulting. Uh, but Akaki on the cover again, so so may not be a long arc, uh, if it is an arc at all, if it's just like one more chapter or something. I don't know. But um we're gonna be getting back into the module very quickly. I assume. <laughs> She's calling him a weakling. But okay, he's gonna yeah go for it the nose. <laughs> Thought he was gonna go for the eye, but yeah, you're getting some work. I mean, again, you're just like a bee stinging him, but uh, it's it's not gonna do much. You can't do that to an oni. We're the ones used for grilled sandwiches. <laughs> you have to say you're sorry. I guess they like you know die and but but they keep saying like oh he's gonna die before us, so it doesn't seem like you die, come back, die, come back. Hmm. <laughs> He's gonna stab them. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> They're young and naive. Oh, they all got dumb expressions. Got shit for brains. <laughs> Bringing it back to fucking Endo with the shit for brains. <sighs> I love it. And just stabbing them too. <laughs> yeah, don't you think they're astronomically stronger than us? But no, you just gotta believe. Yeah, they're all just stunned. Oh, what, what do we do? What do we do? This might be a new breed. I hope what Shizu actually does lead a revolution here. Mm, they just got their bodies. That's it. Their minds are weak. <laughs> and this is very funny because this is kind of like what Shizu is, you know, we're, we're doing the whole emperors and the slaves sort of thing. Uh, that comes up in all of Fukumoto's works. Uh, but... You know, we're, if Wushizu is telling the slaves to rise up and revolt and everything like that. Like, he's because he's not remembering his own past life, that's why, you know, he's acting like this. I, I, I kind of underestimated that a bit. I was like, you know, I was talking shit on Wushizu, but this isn't the Wushizu we know. This is a new Wushizu who does not have his memories of being the awful emperor that he was. Though clearly still, there's a bit in there with the young Onis and stuff. But... Yeah, he's telling everybody, you know, like, no, you gotta fight it, you gotta rise up, you can't just, you know, let the, you know, the, the oppressor just push you around and torture you and fuck with you. And yeah, it's like, he is a Kagi in this situation. I'll fight alone if I have to. God, this is actually so cool that we're getting this side of Ushizu, a, a what if he, you know, wasn't a piece of shit. And w <laughs> Hmm. Okay, they're barefoot, so... Where was he hiding, though? I'm not sure, but... <laughs> Just stab their little toes. <laughs> this is so much fun! Yeah, don't even try it. Yeah, he's, like, putting it on the ground, so it'll go straight through your foot. <laughs> they're all climbing!
climbing up on the foosball table. <laughs> and now she's getting mad at them, just like lifting their feet up. Come on, grill grilled sandwich group, come on. This is like the fucking Inda Kurosawa on the most ridiculous <laughs> scale. Hmm. <sighs> right after I came here, I did have a thought or a feeling. Oh, you're definitely strong. They're strong, but maybe because they're so big, their movements themselves are sluggish. Okay. <laughs> so we're going with that classic thing. Yeah, the movements are very straightforward, easy to predict. They're simple. <laughs> So how long have you been here? So okay, he just lost his will to fight back. I guess he's just been chilling in the grilled basket for years or something. Even so, I think I might be able to fight now. <laughs> she's who calls the revolt. Let's go, little old mate, old middle-aged man. I was trying to say. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. He's our messiah! <laughs> go, go, go! Now are you all gonna grab your own skewers or what? Yeah, everybody, everybody join! <laughs> yeah, get your weapons! Anything else you can find too? What else are they gonna get? And I mean, I wouldn't want to fight, you know, a fucking swarm of bees. <laughs> like, they're a little bit better because they can't fly or anything like that. Uh, but still, the the fact that, like, if I step on a bee, it's going to kill it. If I, It's not like this where if I stepped on a bee, it would go through my foot. <laughs> and, oh, just more and more skewers. Just tons of them. Okay, toothpicks. Well, I mean, that's what the other ones were, too. But okay. I mean, they were, like, trying, you know, find anything that's sharp. I thought we were going to get something else. But no. All with our spears. Got an army. <laughs> okay, adults spread out. Everyone focus their attacks on one table. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, just climb all over them like bugs. And this guy knows it's him. He knows it's easy to turn to him like, I know it's you. <laughs> Barkeep, use that thing. We're still in business hours, but you gotta use it. What is this? Uh, so they smack a little thing that creates some noise. Who knows what that is? Hmm. What what are these noises? Somebody translate, please. <laughs> the robots, okay. Bringing in ro. Oh my God, hell Roombas! Bring in the hell Roombas! <laughs> I can't handle this arc. <laughs> the damned Roomba. <sighs> this is so fucking funny. <laughs> okay, they're going into a little mouse hole. Okay, run away into a little mouse hole. <laughs> Our hideout. Okay, so you guys had a hideout and everything. But you were still just chilling in the grilled basket. <laughs> so they're all fine. We got better. Hmm? Okay, so... Yeah, even if I died, I would have been resurrected. Okay, so that is what it was. I don't know why they were saying earlier, like, he's gonna die faster than us. But okay, yeah. So you do die, revive, die, revive. So yeah, that's why they were, you know, um, placating. Or, you know, allowing themselves to be placated. Okay, I actually like that. So, like, when you die, you look... You know, the age in which you died. Uh, like, the moment in which you died, I assume, probably. Well, I'm not sure, because they all look fine. Uh, but, you know, you look the age you looked when you died. But you have the physical capabilities when you were in the best shape of your life. So that way, it's more painful when you're dying. It'll take more hitting and cutting to kill you. That's actually very good for them, though. That's, that's a benefit. Mm -hmm. That's why we got the strength. The strength to choke out a giant turtle. <laughs> I like the system you have here in hell. <laughs> yeah, it makes it more painful and more miserable, but that means we can fight back easier. <laughs> and of course, Mishizu, the system has backfired on me. <laughs> True in every regard of his life, even in hell. 
Okay, let's do it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Take down all of hell for it. I, you know, at some point I'm like, oh, is this real? Is Wishizu actually in real hell? <laughs> is this reality? <sighs> They're all bowing down. Become our leader. Lead our revolution and free us. <laughs> so, how's it going to react? I suppose that's fine. <laughs> but, hmm. Feels like I was doing something important that I got interrupted in the middle of. <laughs> this isn't the time to be fighting with Oni. <laughs> I love that, like, this is, like, very meta of, like, Pokemon to be like, listen, guys, we're gonna do a hell arc. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> we'll get back to it, I promise. Yeah, I can't remember. You don't have to remember. <laughs> Called in reinforcements. Okay. The Oni that run this club, their parents or something. This new group must have heard about us from their friends. They've all come wearing boots! <laughs> uh, and they're all, like, dressed up for winter and stuff. Oh my god, I love these Oni designs, though. Fukumoto, goddamn, goddamn. Okay, now we gotta defeat the boots. <laughs> Why are you wearing these kind of boots, dude? <laughs> He's just here for fashion. <sighs> but no, we just climb them. Just climb them. And now you yeah, oh, right to the asshole. Right to the asshole. <laughs> You're a fest in the world like a rat's. <sighs> yeah, we'll find a way. We'll find a way. Okay, that's a good point. So, the Oni had a scar across his eye. So, once they've been injured, that spot won't heal. Okay, that's that's terrific, actually. Yeah, yeah. They don't heal, we do. And yeah, so what if we're, you know, beaten up and they stomp us and kill us? We'll revive again, and we'll kill them again. Or we'll you try and kill them. Yeah, we can't die. We revive no matter how many times we die. But they, no matter how long it takes, we will win. We will. Oh, that's a great, you know, expression for which she's very different. Okay, but she's just like, no, it's not going to be a long fight. We're going to do one battle. One battle. Hmm. Just got to go up to the leader. <laughs> Once again, the same expression. <laughs> okay, so, who is the leader? <laughs> okay, let me see its ugly face. Let's see, who is this leader? And they all just instantly went back to the cafe. They all just... <laughs> <laughs> it has been no time at all. I'm like, alright, fuck it. Everybody back to normal. <laughs> Even though we have... I mean, I guess they still have some on the foosball table that didn't get out and stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know. And okay, so yeah. This one is their leader here. Kazuya of the group. <laughs> okay, so what are we saying? The, the leader's in the middle. It's going to take us a lot of time and effort to get there. And it's going to be very painful. So, hmm, okay, we got a plan. Got a plan. <laughs> I love the little Odie girls, too. They're just like, just <laughs> normal women with horns and sharp teeth. <sighs> okay, so yeah, they were like, you know, uh, we, we are still like, you know, we're not immediately back to a casual atmosphere. It's like, yeah, yeah, thank you for coming here. We're, we're gonna, you know, treat you well since you came to help us. <laughs> it just <laughs> eats the glass. And it does make him bleed and stuff. And you still call yourselves Oni. This guy might be a bit of a problem. I I love that, like even the the demons here. Sorry, let me go back to them. I love that even the Oni here are uh, like they speak in the same way that all of uh, Fukumoto's characters tend to. Like you know where he's talking about like yeah like I hate you guys. I'm disgusted with you. Call yourselves Oni. But then he's like, now let me clarify. It's not because of what happened that, you know, when she started fighting back. It's because, especially the problem comes after that. Huh? This is such a Fukumoto ass fucking panel writing moment, you know. And seeing the Oni do it too. The inhuman Oni have this like Super logical, let me have this, you know, well thought out flowing conversation. But yeah, the fact that they started following him, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> oh, I love that we're getting this kind of like fucking 
uh, like what do I tell like Tei, you know, kind of characters, but it's just Oni. Oh, do they know his name? Uh, yeah, he did say his name was Shizu Iwao. All right, all right, with Shizu versus the head Oni. <laughs> oh, there they are. They're here. They're coming out. And Shizu does seem to be in the front. All right, the rebels are all storming out. There's a hell of a lot of them, actually. <laughs> We're all barefoot, boss, so... <laughs> <laughs> you don't only underestimate you because you're all just pussies. You're just so worried about getting hurt. You're fucking Onis. What you think with your cold, black, cruel Oni hearts? <laughs> Alright, the ones with boots go first. The rest of you follow after. <laughs> you fucking pussies. Come on. <sighs> All right, just seeing us will terrify them. <laughs> Hell is heaven. And yeah, they are all terrified of this. This guy is going going ham. He's just fucking going off. But yeah, well, she's going to be like, good, good. He's losing it. That's our benefit. Lone soldier. Is, are they all going to get stopped by Shizu? If they're shouting that loud, that must mean that they're terrified. They are trying to increase the morale. And yeah, again, bringing it right... This is so... Fukumoto brings up the same sort of, like, uh, messages or lessons, like, multiple times throughout his own. Like, it's, you know, I'm about to talk about uh, Kaiji. Uh, and it came up multiple times in Kaiji. Now it's going up in here. You know, it's come up in Kurosawa and stuff. But, like, the, this idea that, like, you know... If you are shouting, like, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, or, like, you know, I'm gonna give it my all, we're gonna do it, let's defeat them, you're, you've are you already lost. Not necessarily that you lost in terms of, like, you're gonna lose the battle, but you've lost the pre-battle of wits. Like, if you are saying that, then, you know, you, inside you have already decided uh, or, you know, realized that you can't do it. Uh, and, you know, we brought that up with Braveman Road thing with the Indo's Half-Death Day most recently. Uh, and now bringing it up in here, too. But yeah, I, I just like, you know, getting that reoccurring over and over again. You know, it's something that Fukumoto very clearly, uh, you know, feels is very true. I mean, you know, it's not like a don't do that. It's just like this kind of like, it, it's it reminds me of like, you know, if you ask somebody like, hey, should I watch uh, this movie or this movie? I don't know which one I should watch. No matter what their answer is, you've already decided on the answer in your mind. You're just, you need someone else to give an answer to make you realize which one you actually wanted to watch in the first place. And I feel like that's a very similar thing here too. It's not that these people are actively lying to themselves. It is just a true inherent thing that if you are saying, I can do it, I can do it, there's a part of you that's saying, no you can't, no you can't. Like, that's just true. <laughs> And yeah, yeah, he thinks they can make proper uh, Oni out of weaklings just by shouting at them. Hey, that's, I, I like that we're bringing it around this way. You know, normally we focus on it by the characters themselves saying, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. But this is them saying, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, which is the same sort of thing. And even worse, because it's like, you know, you're trying to like force this onto somebody else just by saying, you can do it. And it's like, do you think just shouting at them is going to suddenly make them capable? And we've got great weapons for this too. Like even though they got boots and everything like that, just having long range weapons and stuff that we can plant on the ground, you know, because even if they have boots, maybe they'll snap the toothpick or something, but it could still go straight through them. Don't know. Depends if this works like hockey rolls. Where can I, who can, will she put his strength into the toothpick? All right, boot squads, attack! Oh, I don't want to see anybody get hurt here, but inevitably some people are going to get hurt and killed. Yep, yep, yep. But hey, you guys have been in hell already. You gotta put up with what you gotta put up with to, to revolt and overrun hell. But okay, what is the plan? Because we didn't get to see that plan. Alright, now you guys go. Why them? You're not even finished. Just You're, you're doing fine. I feel like you don't need them. Okay. Go and start doing it, but... Okay, it is working. It is working. They're running. Oh, 
yeah, I don't. I'm not sure if this is part of Uchiha's plan. I don't think so. I think you know they just don't believe Uchiha enough. But I mean, hey, you just said it's the same thing. What does Uchiha think he's gonna yell at them enough? Like he's gonna shout at them, and suddenly they're not gonna do weaklings? It's not how it's gonna work. I mean, this might be part of the plan. Make them think we're all running away, and then, and then like when when they least suspects that we attack the big boss. Yeah, you keep thinking that, buddy. You keep thinking that. Okay, he's going in. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I'll find the leader. Yeah, yeah, so I think this is what we wanted. It's going to be hard to get to him, so we need him to come to us. Okay, Shizu, it's time. Is it you? Ha, <laughs> you stupid Odie. <laughs> okay, charge! Bring him down. Hell yeah, you brought yourself to us. Put your lives on the line this time. Okay, where are we going to attack? Well, you're climbing up him, but I would say just go to the fa go face, go for the face. I right, go for the face and go for the ass, go for the nuts. <laughs> Crawl inside that anus and start stabbing. <laughs> but he's, you know, very big, just stomping, you know, you're gonna fall off that boot and everything. Yeah, we all just fell off immediately. Ugh, we're gonna be crushed to death, but doesn't matter. Gotta go, gotta go, 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 go. But Wishizu climbs up another one and then launches over. Oh shit! Up we go, your face is wide open. Into the eyeball. Oh, into the forehead, like, bulged thing. But, oh, gotta go for the eye. You gotta get in that eye. That's how we truly get him. Maybe up the nose, too. But okay, yeah, now that he's distracted, crawl up those leggies. But yeah, don't give him a chance. Just keep stabbing, 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 stabbing. And they're going to keep falling off and falling off. But Why is it just me? And <laughs> whisper into his ear. It's because you're the leader. That's what it means to be the leader. Get it? Into the ear, or she's like, Why did you not stab him in the ear? <laughs> or maybe he did. Well, no, it's like he's standing outside the ear. You are really not doing a great job. Okay, inside the mouth. Uh, oh, ow, 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 the lip. I thought he was stabbing him in the gums. God, you're doing, oh, there you go. There you finally fucking go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I need another one. Oh, did his, did his break? <laughs> Throw me another spear. <laughs> oh, my God, he threw it at him and he caught it. I can't believe he actually caught it. <laughs> I'm going in. Be moving into your stomach. You won't even last an hour. I mean, an hour is way too much to be in that stomach. I feel like you only need like a couple minutes. Be revived as many times as I need, but will you be revived inside the stomach acid? Okay, you're just gonna stab everything inside him. And okay, yeah, just stab a hole in his stomach and make it out. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but uh. <laughs> your fingers can't even reach your mouth because your fangs are in the way. Into the belly of the beast. Oh my god. <laughs> Disgusting. <sighs> this looks like a photo. <laughs> god. I would just stick... Like, I would have... You know, when he was like, give me another one. Oh, actually, I think he did. Yeah, he, he used... His spear to pry his mouth open. Uh, oh man. Okay, yeah. Very, very smart. I was gonna say to do that, but yeah, he's trying to. His tugs try to get him, but nope. Ain't gonna work, bitch. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, which is saw. I thought he was gonna say Sama. Yeah, too late now, bitch. Oh. Oh, what's happening? His tongue just going like. Bleh, 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 bleh. What is he doing? Uh, huh? Oh, someone else picking him up and throwing him. Okay, and he came out. He came out. Who is this? Oh, no. Big Daddy. Big, big Daddy. This is the true leader. Yeah, they all bow. <laughs> Enma. Okay, this is Enma. <laughs> oh, shit, Mashizu. <sighs> they all bow to him. <laughs> The boss finally shows his face. 
Yep, it's King Inma. <laughs> oh my god. And he's got like a little paddle. Little paddle. Yeah, you're really gonna bow down now. Who cares? Like, how much worse do you think he can get? With one single judgment, he can stew us, grill us, or skewer us? I mean, that's already been happening to you. <laughs> yeah, didn't we decide to rise up and crush that system? Yeah. <laughs> that face! <laughs> and he was nothing more than a government official with a lot of power, and he doesn't have any better underlings than these Oni that are low as peasants. I love how much he's shit-talking himself because he doesn't have his own memories. I'm better than him any way you look at it. Well, she exists somewhere. <sighs> okay. Okay. Hmm. 400 years ago, led by someone called Oda Nobunaga. <laughs> Insane. Well, like, saying that was Jesus below Oda Nobunaga. This feels like a fucking One Piece fucking impel down breakout thing with Shiki. Like, just, it's, it's, it's a real world person, but it's like, this like, oh, I remember 400 years ago. <laughs> Oda Nobunaga. <laughs> Oda Nobuo. <laughs> Okay, the cleansed crystal mirror. All of your past deeds will be shown in this mirror. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was so hyped. <laughs> I was so hyped. But he's so bad, it shatters. The cleansed crystal mirror, bro. I, I love Fukumoto's comedy so much. Uh, I mean, I laugh my ass off at a lot of manga, but nothing makes me laugh as hard as fucking Fukumoto does. <laughs> Praiseworthy villain. Alright, a one on one match. Also, he did say, is worthy of ruling this world, so Shizu does want to become the new King Enma. <laughs> Alright, go at him with that paddle. Hmm? His body? What? Uh... Hmm? His body can't move or something? What the hell's going on? What do you think would happen? This is his power! <laughs> what is his power? Just the power to make you bow or something? Or is it just like, you know, an aura? <laughs> Using magic on me. I don't know if it is magic. Yeah, it's not a magical spell. This is law. What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> My word is law. That is simply how hell is. No matter how many own your damn cells you get together, you'll never be able to oppose just the word. Shit, then. So, what do we do if his word is law? <laughs> it's not divine power, he's mind controlling me. It's not this magic, it's this magic. <laughs> yeah, in your lives, your world, you must have had laws your own. The air turns cold, then it turns warm. Water flows from high places to low. Glass that has been broken may never become whole again. Humans are bound to Earth by the law of gravity. I truly can't tell, like, you know, if we keep saying this is law, this is the law, but what does that mean? <sighs> okay, okay, so, you're like, is he gonna tell him, or is he just saying this broadly? In your 75 years of life, you've committed many evil deeds. And yeah, yes, yeah, so he's not gonna tell him like, exactly what he did, but... <laughs> and it's just like, this is what we're seeing for his many evil deeds. I guess the turtle thing, that was, that was kosher, that was a good deed. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what was the other thing? What, the spinning around thing? I don't know what the fuck that was. Okay, so we're talking about what his sentence is going to be. Imagine an enormous rock in a river being whittled away very slowly just by the water flow alone until it disappears. After many millennia, after an eternity of time, it will eventually return to just being sediment. 
That is how long. That is the amount of time you will be tortured here. Oh, I love that. Well, that's a great, you know, way to put it in perspective. But well, she's ain't gonna allow that. He ain't gonna allow that. It'll be such a long time. I won't even be around till the end of it. Okay, so it's too long for even me to see in my lifetime. God damn. That's actually fucking impressive to be like, yeah, I am a divine being and I'm not going to live enough to see your punishment, you know, be included. Many, many errors will come and go. So you do die. In that case, I'll win. I'll never die while I'm here. In that case, at the end of it all, it'll be me who comes out victorious. <laughs> That's true. He will outlast you. He will kill you. Even if you apologize now, I won't forgive you. I guess that's true, yeah, in hell, the biggest threat you can make is not that I will kill you, but that I won't kill you. I will not kill you. You will be sentenced to unending suffering year after year. But, you know, at the same time, he'll still be alive. You know, when you're dead, you're dead. There's no more. So, I don't know. I still think it's worse to die. And, okay, bring it back, actually. All he is is the leader of the Oni, a petty little officer with a little bit of power, and yet he's stepping on me, the true king's head. Exactly what's happening in the real world right now. The rudeness, the, 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 rudeness, the insolence, the audacity, I won't forgive this. Never forget Akagi. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, here's how we come back into it. <sighs> In the middle, I stopped in the middle. Can't die yet. But okay, so are we gonna be? Yeah, okay, okay. We're, so we're gonna settle this first. We're gonna settle this first. But okay, I like it. We brought it back like that. Now, now he has the motivation. <laughs> you fucked up. You fucked up. <laughs> His body is lighting up. I'll never forgive you, Akagi Shigeru. <laughs> hmm. For the dead to remember what happened in their lives, if that word really ever occur, if that ever happened, psh, <laughs> a beam of light, what the hell, ding 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 ding, like shining glinting, what, what happens if they remember, the light of life, okay, he got a connection, so now he's got this beaming, beautiful light, always oh, getting bigger, growing, Back to full size. Hell is, in essence, created by the dead's fear, regret, and attachment to life. It is an illusional prison, a world that does not truly exist. Mm, okay, so, going into, like, uh, you know, all this, world the truth does not exist, it is Avdaya. It is the ignorance that keeps you from being able to be enlightened, you know, you're grasping on to your morality and the, the physical world. You're bound by Avadaya. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Avid, Avid, Avidya, I would guess? Avidya? Something like that? Mm -hmm. The illusion that hell is formed by their own Avidya. But, well, there is a light. Coming from the power of life, it is an infinite, injustifiable, inexhaustible energy. He grows, swells, expands. Now he's even larger than Eng Enma. <laughs> Don't harm <hire> me! <sighs> Getting slapped around now. I hope he stomps on his ass. Yeah, get scared, Oni. Get scared, bitch. <laughs> and yeah, he's not mad, he's just shocked. Wha what? I've never been hit before. A slap? <laughs> never even been hit by the Buddha. <laughs> and okay, so I'm not sure where we had, I mean, I guess we had a Kagi with the pin on it, because it was like the, you know, he was calling, you know, his pin and stuff like that. We called back to that. But, uh, okay. So yeah, we did not really uh, go back to the game, this volume. I love just saying a petty officer. Oh, I mean, the term petty officer is so funny to me already. It's supposed to be a serious term, but petty officer just sounds like what it sounds like. You're a petty officer. <laughs> Fucking 
cracking his knuckles. You want me to tell you what your power is really like? <laughs> we did it, boys. Also, <laughs> I didn't even, I just said boys, but I didn't think about the fact that, yeah, there's no women in hell. All of them go to heaven. <laughs> that feels fitting. <laughs> And they're still trying to say, you can't do this, you can't do this. Honestly, let these people stay in hell. Let them stay in hell. Yeah, I'll crush you. <laughs> as soon as he gets his old self back. <sighs> Honestly, the whole lot of you. Yeah, they're completely brainwashed. Yeah, absolutely. Everything's going on in your brain is too tiny. <laughs> and okay, he's still growing bigger and bigger and bigger. Is he just gonna, like, bust out of hell back into the match? <laughs> uh, hmm? Sun, hell's sun? Hell has its own sun? Okay, just gotta grow bigger. Go through the hole. Okay, now we're crushing Enma. Oh, a little slow, buddy. <laughs> I'll probably be coming back to hell pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't be helped, can it? Don't really want to go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hell sounds a little bit better to me. Okay. <sighs> okay, yeah. How are you going to treat the, the damned when I come back? <laughs> I love this. Oh, my God. I mean, as much as Mishizu is an absolute piece of shit, and we've said so much shitty things about him throughout the entire series, and he's an awful, awful inhuman vampire monster, he made Hell a better place. <laughs> He's probably going to do better for the universe than Akagi ever will. That feels so weird. I mean, this is not reality, right? I don't know. This is really hell. <laughs> or is he just dreaming? <sighs> that looks like you're thanking me or something, but... Oh, well. Can't hear it. <laughs> Even if a god were to thank me right now, then probably with this feeling... Oh, I thought, you know, what was he going to say? Like, with this feeling, I don't give a shit. Yeah, now he's too big, can't get to the hole. What do you mean, hell's a son? Now he's too big to leave hell. Like, that's such a fucking metaphor. <laughs> too egotistical to leave hell. Okay. <laughs> just squeeze through it. This head is gonna be... <laughs> Where the hell are you? A, a city? Hmm. Yeah, just where the hell are you? Are you Mount Fuji? Okay, he's about to fucking burst out. Also, yeah, there's like planes and shit flying by him. I'm gonna guess this is Mount Fuji. And he's about to fucking blow it up by just bursting out of it. Yep, forces his way back into the living world. <sighs> Dr. Stone style. Fucking mosquitoes. They instantly sent fighter jets within a second to kill him. And tanks... It's the fastest Japan's ever done anything with its military. Military. Yeah, where's Akagi? Trying to stomp his way over to his house. I, 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 <laughs> so, okay. I'm going to say, though, not real, then. The hell, not reality. I think this solidifies it as not reality. <laughs> but now we got a fucking kaiju on our hands. And I, I, was the, the entrance to hell is Mount Fuji? <laughs> Yeah, so you're going to go to your mansion. He is just going to walk to his mansion. Since that mount of dirt over there is Mount Fuji, so yeah. Lights over there are Tokyo. Alright. <laughs> okay. So, just going to walk his way to Tokyo. Just be beyond that tower. Just you wait, Akagi. <laughs> I, I... I love this. I love this. Hmm. So now, sending even bigger planes after him and stuff like that. <laughs> Fucking fighter jets. <laughs> I mean, there were fighter jets before, basically, but... Oh, no! Is that his house? Uh, oh, okay. You're shrinking. He's getting smaller. Returning to the living world and <laughs> shrinking down back to human size. <sighs> yeah, you're shrinking real fast. You gotta go. You gotta go. I swear to God, I'm getting, like, deja vu, like, I've read this before or something. I, it can't be true, but I feel like I've read this, specifically this chapter before. I don't know why this feels so weird. Like, this this whole kaiju situation and everything. <laughs> yeah, of course you will be. 
<laughs> but okay, yeah, now, now you're almost the size of the tank. All right, just pick it up and throw it. <laughs> this is so weird. I, I love the scale just growing and then shrinking and then... Oh, you know that shrine? Close to your home. Okay. He's still so massive. Like, he's shrunk so much, but he's still so massive. Okay, there it is. There's the mansion. You made it. <laughs> this is so funny. He's on the first floor over here. Okay, there it is. And he's... Yeah, okay. So, Kagi has returned to his seat now. Or is this, like, is it before he stepped on his head or after? I'm gonna guess, you know, after. Okay, he's getting back up. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure if we are gonna cut back to the one outside the window, because we just get, like, the him looking here, and then we cut back to, like, you know, it's been all out of lines the whole time, and then, bam, we're back. Oh, man, that whole sequence gave me such deja vu, but in a way where it's like, I don't... Nothing felt like I had read it before, but it just felt like, man, this feels so familiar. Like, I've seen Wishizu being a kaiju around the city before. but Or, like, I played this like a video game where it had a dream about it. It's like, I don't know, it felt so weird. But I didn't read it. Like, nothing was like, oh, yeah, I remember this. Weird. Also, the bloodshot eyes. I mean, yeah, you were just dead. <laughs> okay. Both have come back from the brink of death. Not even the brink of death, I think from death. I think they both died and came back. Whew. Okay, we'll give it one more chapter, and then the next chapter after this is when we'll start the next video. Assumingly. It's so lively in hell. <laughs> Just like my old days. But yeah, I am on the verge of death. Alright, enough admiration. Time to begin the game. Okay, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's been a while for like us as an audience, you know, or like you know, people reading this months at a time as chapters are coming out. But uh, it's not really been. I mean, I guess it's been long for him, you know, kind of. God, I love how shitty he looks. Like we just got that whole, you know, arc of him in hell being so energetic. So now seeing it like this, even more impactful. Like he just doesn't even feel like he's like shouting. You know, just like I've come back to settle this. I will show you that I am superior to you. Like, he's, like, barely has energy left even to speak. Hmm, back in the day, you were the strongest there was. But not anymore. It's a good point. It's fucking ridiculous that he's still alive. The idea that he's still alive now is insane. So, anything can happen. If that can happen, anything can. Hmm. Am I even alive right now, or am I dead? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Don't ask if you're still alive, you died! <laughs> okay, yeah, so Shizu had died already. Not only that, he returned from the depths of hell, from the den of the damned. <laughs> Did he? However, Akagi too, he had returned as well. One step away from entering the land of the dead, from the fantastical bottom of the sea. But okay, so, we are saying Shizu did die. Akagi did not die. He was on the brink of death, but Wishizu did die and come back. <laughs> What's with the sunglasses? Just... Oh, wait, the sunglasses on the corpse there. Okay, okay. <sighs> but yeah, both of them had a miraculous comeback. I think, therefore, I am. <laughs> Thinking, continuing to think, to think, to think, to think, and think. So it connects one to life. That's what life is all about. Akagi's I must defeat Wishizu. Wishizu's I must defeat Akagi. Those very thoughts were brought the two of them back to life. So shonen. And yeah, you think Akagi wanted Wishizu to die? No, Akagi absolutely wanted him to come back. Because he wants to beat him, beat him, beat him. Yeah, he is an Oni after all. Your ikigai, your purpose in life is to kill Akagi, of course. That's why God put you on this earth. And he's so like, he can't even sit up. <laughs> and okay, all that just became a hazy dream that he didn't even remember anymore. 
Being alive is far more exciting. <laughs> He's just falling over. I feel so alive, he says as he's dying again. Oh my god, he looks like a snake. Okay, okay, so we're on the next chapter now. Whoo! Going into our final fucking round, boys. Our final fucking round. One more left. One more left. That hell arc was very, very fun. A great detour before the final round. Like, very, very well needed to get a good refresher before we go into, you know, our last game. Okay. I'll see you guys on the other side. Until then, get the fuck out of here.